Hello and welcome back to another tutorial at Neurospike.com. My name is Zoe Praise and in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to flip an image using OpenCV. So without further ado, let's get started. Always so in continuation with our series on OpenCV, what we're going to do is like, you know, go into our project directory, right click, click a new Python file, and we're just going to give this a name OpenCV flip.py. So next, we're going to start off by importing our important necessary packages for this tutorial. We we'll start off first by importing arc parse, which just enables us to interact with our program via the command line and then open CV for, you know, manipulating images, which we're going to see at the moment. And over here, we just started by initializing the argument parser, which I explained already to help us parse data from the command line into our program. So after defining our argument parser, what we in order to perform the flip operation, we need to work with a specific image. So for this tutorial, I'm actually going to use the lucid image. So in order for us, you know, to use this image, you know, within our program, what I'm going to do is like, you know, define an instruction that helps us load an image. So I'm going to call cb2.imread and then I'm going to, you know, pass in arcs of images. So basically once I, you know, pass, run this program, through the command line, I can, you know, initially pass in a path to an image via the command line and it gets loaded. And in order for us to see what's actually been, you know, loaded and stored in this variable, I can actually visualize it to screen. So cv2.mshow, I'm going to give it the window a name, like original. And we're going to use this, you know, to appreciate the flip operation that OpenCV is going to provide. And next thing, I'm just going to pass in the image itself. And I'm just going to add the weight key so that, you know, the window that is actually that OpenCV creates for us doesn't get destroyed. So in order to run this program, we can't just simply, you know, right click and click run. It's not going to work. But what we need to do is to use it in this format, which I've defined over here. So we need to specify Python, the name of the file, and, you know, we can pass in, you know, arguments. So right now I'm just going to copy this, go into terminal, and then just, you know, place this command and click enter. And now we can see our original image, how it looks like. So now in order to go ahead with the flipping operation to mirror our original image, more of like, you know, flip it across the horizontal axis. What we're going to do is, you know, just utilize the flip function that OpenCV provides for us. In order to do that, we can easily just call the statement. Let's say flip the image horizontally. We just call horizontal flip and it's equals to cv2 dot flip. So what we need to pass in the, is first the source, which is the image itself. And then for the flip code, we're going to pass in one. And in order to visualize this flip operation that has actually occurred, what we need to do is just show this to screen. So cv2 dot m show, then we just say horizontal flip. And I'm just going to pass in the horizontal flip image. Just right. Modify that. And just add like a weight key. So now if we run this program again. And press Q. Then I, what I can see now is just pretty much the mirrored version of our original image. So next, if we actually want to, you know, flip our original image vertically. So what we can do is to just, you know, do the same process. So vertical flip image equals CV2 dot flip. I'm going to pass in the original image. And then for the flip code, I'm going to pass in zero. So if we just visualize this, CV2 dot M show vertical flip, I'm going to pass in vertical flip image. And just going to call the wait key. So the window that is going to be open CV is going to create doesn't get destroyed. I'm just going to run it again and click enter and enter again. So now you can see that our image has been flipped vertically. So if we just add a comment, flip the image vertically. And finally, open CV also provides one more function that helps us perform like a horizontal and also a vertical flip at the same time on our original image. And in order to do that, so 
all we need to do is to just, you know, call the statement. So put the image horizontally, then vertically. So we just need to call, let's say flip image is equals to CV2 dot flip. We're going to pass in the image itself. For the flip code, we're going to pass in a negative one. And then to just display this to screen, so I'm just going to call this horizontal and vertical flip. And I'm going to pass in the flip image. And I can actually, you know, add the wait key so our window doesn't get destroyed after we flip the original image. So I'm just going to run this again. So we have our original image our vertical flip, our horizontal flip, and also another flip, which, you know, has been, you know, flipped horizontally and then vertically. So if you've liked this video up until now, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you turn on all notifications so that you get an update on when next I release my next tutorial. Until then, see you next time.